Hello everyone and welcome back. Till the previous session, we have been learning about the historical aspects of microprocessors. From this session onwards, we will try to get into the technicalities. However, in order to get to that, we need some prerequisites. And one such prerequisite is the number representation. So in this session, we will be introduced to number representations. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topics that we are going to cover in this session. At first, we are going to learn about the different number systems which will be basically used in this due course. Thereafter, we will have a comparative study of decimal and the binary number systems. And finally, we will end this session learning the significance of binary digits. So let's begin with the different number systems. Now, if we talk about the number systems, there are quite a few of them. However, in this course, we will only learn about the number systems which will help us understand the architecture of the microprocessors and the microcontrollers in a better way. So, at first, we will learn about the decimal number system which we are most familiar with. Now, in case of decimal, we have got the symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Clearly, it has got 10 symbols. Now, remember this. The number of symbols in a particular number system determines its base. So, in case of decimal, the base is 10. Now, the reason why we are quite familiar with the decimal number system is we have got 10 fingers, right? And that helps us understand the 10 symbols of this number system. Coming to the next number system, it is binary. Now, in binary, we have got the symbols 0 and 1. Notice, 2 symbols. So, just now I told you, based on the number of symbols, the base of a particular number system is determined. Therefore, since we have got two symbols in binary, what do you think will be the base of it? Yes, it is two. Coming up next, we have got the hexadecimal number system. Focus on the name, hexadecimal. So, it has got the decimal as a part of its name. Which clearly means, we will have all the ten symbols of decimal. Now, along with these, we will have hexa, that is six more symbols. And the symbols are A, B, C, D, E and F. So, all together, how many symbols are there? Well, 16 symbols. So, what will be the base for hexadecimal? You guessed it correctly. It is 16. Now, apart from these number systems, there are quite a few more. However, in our course, we will mainly focus on these two. And the reason for that is, in computers, we mainly use binary number system. Additionally, due to the higher base of hexadecimal number system, we use this number system for different representations of the binary values. So, this is the reason why in this course, we will study mainly about these number systems. So, that was all about the different number systems. Remember? Only the number systems we are going to study in here, which will be helpful in our study of microprocessors and microcontrollers. Let's now focus on the comparative study of decimal and binary number systems. Now, in decimal, we have already seen we have got 10 symbols. Now, if we start writing down the numbers in decimal, it will start from 0 and it will go till 9 until we have exhausted the first digit's place. Now, once we have exhausted this place with the last symbol that we have, we will have to reset the first digit's place. And that will be done with the help of the digit 0. And we will have a new number which will have 0 in the first digit's place, that is the least significant digit's place. And to the left of it, we will use the symbol 1 now. So, the first two digit number will be 10. Now, in the least significant digit, all these symbols will continue. And all these digits will be preceded by the digit 1. Now notice, we have again exhausted the least significant digits place with the last symbol that we had. So now, following this particular pattern, in the next number, we will reset the least significant digits place. And for the most significant digit, we will choose the next symbol in line, that is 2. Therefore, these will be the next 10 numbers. Now notice, in the least significant digit, the symbols are changing once at a time. That is, 0, 
then 1, then 2, then 3 and so on. And the same is happening for these two cases as well. And that's the reason why we call them units place. So the reason for calling them units place is, in this place, we get to change the symbols one at a time. Now if you notice the most significant digits for these two series, here, the same symbol is being retained for 10 times, right? And that's the reason why these places are called tens place. So I hope you now understand how these numbers are being formed. Once we exhaust a place, then we have to reset that. And at the same time, a new symbol is preceding the previous digit. Like this, if we keep on increasing the numbers, and by the end, when in the tens place we have got 9, we will have this sequence, right? That is from 90 till 99. Notice, both the tens and units placed are now exhausted by the symbol which we have in the basic symbol set of the decimal number system. So now what will be done? Well, for both tens and units place, these two places will be reset and a new place will be introduced which we call the hundreds place and that will be initialized with the symbol 1. Now why we are initializing this with 1? Well, if you think about it, for this sequence, all of the tens place have actually zeros. However, writing down zeros to the left of any number doesn't really mean anything. That's why we didn't write them. Similarly, if we consider all these numbers, even with the hundreds place as well, we would have placed zeros in them. Therefore, starting from zero till 99, in the hundreds place, hundred zeros would have been there. Therefore, the next symbol after resetting the tens and units place is definitely going to be 1. That is the symbol next in line. Like this, the decimal number system progresses. Now notice the place values. We call them units place, tens place and hundreds place. Therefore, after exhausting all these digits places with the last symbol 9, that is, after the number 999, what will be the next number? Well, all these places will be reset and the next place, that is thousands place, will be introduced and initialized with the symbol 1. Isn't it? Now, these place names are used for naming conventions. However, they actually have some values to retain. And those values are 10 raised to the power 0, 10 raised to the power 1, 10 squared. Notice, 10 raised to the power 0 is actually the place value of the unit's places. Now, what is the value of 10 raised to the power 0? It's 1. Thus, the name unit. Now, notice the tens places. It is 10 raised to the power 1. And that's same for all of these, right? Now, why it is so? This is called tens place. And what is 10 raised to the power 1? It is 10. And that signifies that the symbol is going to be retained for 10 times. Now, notice the hundreds place. It is 10 squared. Clearly, 100, which signifies that this place is going to retain the symbol for 100 times. So, this is the basic understanding of the decimal number system. Remember, once we exhaust some digits places, we need to reset them and introduce a new place to the left of the previous digits. So, we have studied about the decimal number system. Let's now get into the binary. Now, in binary, we have got the symbols 0 and 1. Now, to understand the binary numbers in a better way, we will take help from the decimal numbers. Now, notice, in binary, we have got 0, we have got 1, which is also same for decimal. Now, after 0 and 1 in binary, for 2 in decimal, what should we have in binary? Well, if you notice, we have exhausted this place with the last symbol that we had. So, just like in decimal number system, here also we are going to reset this place with 0 and the symbol next in line will precede that. So, 1 0 in binary is actually 2 in decimal. Now, what should be the next number in binary? Well, we are yet to exhaust this. So, in the most significant bit place, we will have 1. However, the least significant bit will now be changed from 0 to 1. So, 1, 1 in binary is 3 in decimal. 
Now notice, we have exhausted these two places as well. Because in case of binary, we have only got 0 and 1, these two symbols. And that's why we are exhausting the places quite frequently. Anyway, nothing to worry. We already know how the number systems work. So we will just reset these two places back to zeros. And we will introduce a new place which will be initialized with 1. So clearly, 4 in decimal is 100 zero zero in binary. Now what will be the next number? Well, it is still 0. So the most significant bits will remain the same. However, the least significant bit is going to be changed as 1. So 5 in decimal in binary is 101. Now notice, we have again exhausted the least significant bits place. So what we are going to do, we will reset it to 0. And since we have reset this, we are going to change this place as well. There is a new symbol will be introduced in this place. And what is the new symbol that we are going to use after 0? Well, clearly it is 1. So we will have 1 in here. And this one will be retained as it is. So 6 in decimal is 110 in binary. Now can you figure out the next number? It is still 0. So it will be toggled to 1. And the most significant bits will remain as they are. So 7 in decimal is 111 in binary. Observe, we have again exhausted all these places with the last symbol that we had. So now we will reset all these three places. And a new place will be introduced which will be initialized with 1. So 8 in decimal in binary is 100. Now what about 9 in decimal? Well, it is still 0. So we will just toggle it to 1. And the rest of the most significant bits will remain as they are. So these are all the binary numbers of these decimal digits. Now let me show you some patterns. If you notice the first bit place, that is the least significant bit or LSB's place. Here, just like the decimal number system, the bits are changing one after the another, right? So this place will be called ones place or units place. Now coming to the next bit place, notice, here we could have written zeros. However, as I mentioned earlier, writing down zeros to the left of any number doesn't really mean anything. So we can imagine for now the two zeros are here. Notice the pattern, two zeros, then two ones, then two zeros, then two ones, and the same. So for this bit place, the symbols are being retained for two at a time. So we are going to call it two's place. If you remember in decimal, we were calling the next digit's place tens place. And what was the reason for that? The reason was in tens place, the symbol was being retained for ten times. However, in case of binary, the symbols are being retained for two at a time. And that's why the name two's place. Observe the next bit place. Here also, if you imagine, there are four zeros for these four. So four zeros, then four ones. Now, if you keep on forming the next numbers of binary, I can assure you, you will observe there will be four more zeros. So clearly, we will call this place as four's place. Now, what about this? Here, from zero to one, 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 that is seven. There are eight numbers. So, eight imaginary zeros. Then I can assure you, there will be eight more ones. So, we will call it eight's place. Now, notice, in decimal, unit's place is actually 10 raised to the power 0. And 10's place is 10 raised to the power 1, which means 10. Then, 100's place is 10 squared, which is 100. In comparison to that, in case of binary, Unit's place is 1, which is 2 raised to the power 0. 2's place is actually 2 raised to the power 1, that is 2. Now, 4's place is actually 2 squared, that is 4. And 8's place is actually 2 cubed, that is 8. So, in case of decimal, the place value to the left were being multiplied with 10, which in case of binary is being multiplied with 2. Isn't it? Additionally, if you would like to find out the decimal equivalent of any binary number, 
you can do that with the help of the place values notice this this is 110 where the ones are placed underneath 4 and 2 so add them up it will give you 6 notice 6 in decimal is 110 in binary so as a homework to all of you i would like you to form all the binary numbers using the place values 8 4 2 and 1 and you can check for the numbers whether they are correct or not adding the place values under which the ones are placed you can always find out the equivalent decimal value so that was all about the comparative study of decimal and binary number systems let's now learn about the significance of binary digits now binary digits are in turn called the bits now in case of binary we have got the symbol 0 and 1 Now in layman's terms whenever we talk about the significance of binary bits we specify the on and off button in which the zero means off and one it means on however that's not necessarily true all the time think about it we are studying about microprocessor which is an ic now in case of transistor transistor logic there is ttl ic's they operate using voltage and for these generally the voltage range from 0 volt to plus 5 volt is used the voltage range from 0 volt till plus 0.8 volt is considered as zero of binary and the range from plus 2 volt till plus 5 volt is considered to be one so in terms of integrated circuits and that to the ttl or transistor transistor logic ones zero and one of binary define different voltage ranges regarding this we will learn in details when we get into our due course so this is the significance of bits or binary digits in terms of integrated circuits so in this session we covered these topics that is the different number system specifically the number systems that we are going to use in here binary and hexadecimal also we had the comparative study of decimal and binary number systems and finally we learned the significance of binary digits or bits in terms of integrated circuits all right people that will be all for this session in the next session we are going to learn in details about the hexadecimal number system so i hope to see you in the next one thank you all for watching